Hi guys, oh my god, wait a second. Hi guys, it's been <laughs> so long. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Uh, right now I am in New York, in Brooklyn to be more exact. And the other day I went to Blick's, um, my favorite art supply, <laughs> my favorite art supply here in New York. And I wanted to do a very small, good old haul because it's been too long since the last time I did a haul with you guys. So today is a very gloomy day, guys. <laughs> so I'm so sorry for the light, but I have my coffee ready. And this is this is all I bought. Blix, Blix is my Achilles heel. So do you remember when I said, I don't want to buy more sketchbooks and stuff? Well, yeah, this, this happened. I bought this small skin Moleskine, Moleskine um, sketch album. I have never worked in um, such a long landscape sketchbook, so I wanted to try something new. And I love this uh, Moleskine um, edition. The paper is really nice and it works amazingly with markers, so I want to give it a go. Moleskine for me, they're a luxury item, uh, but I'm like, I'm in holiday, why not? <laughs> I also bought another mole skin um feeling spending <laughs> i bought this because i would love to start doing personal projects uh like a secret journal so to speak these two items actually these two sketchbooks they're really out of my comfort zone i never work in such small sizes and i never i have never worked in such la like landscape um uh, sizes. It, am I am I talking properly? I don't know. Uh, but I thought I should both give them a go. I also bought these guys because I know a lot of illustrators love their render uh, type of paper, and this one promises not show no show through paper. And I thought it looked very interesting. And instead of buying an entire sketchbook, I bought the tiny pieces of paper. And I am I really really want to try this today with you guys. I also bought, let me see if I can, there, there you go, there you go. So I have no idea guys, but Bleak's, the Bleak shop started doing um, Copic marker type uh, markers. <laughs> Copic, <laughs> they started doing, <laughs> God, I can't speak. You know what I'm saying? They started imitating the Copic marker, uh, marker and uh, they're, I think they're cheaper than the Copic marker and I really really wanted to give it a go. I bought this lovely lilac plus a yellow. I bought basically my color palette but in bleak markers. I don't know if you can see the names uh, but I swatched a few of them, a couple of them at the shop and they look really really promising so today I also want to try this with the non-show through paper um, I also bought this metal sharpener because Kendall at, uh, on her YouTube channel said that the bullet sharpeners, uh, pencil sharpeners, they're the best ones and I really wanted to give this a go and they're really expensive in the UK so I, I decided to uh, seize the opportunity and buy one. Um, I also bought, oh my god you guys, I bought tons of color pencils guys because uh, for a couple of months I I really really want to give color pencils a go and I bought um, color pencils from different brands to see which ones are the ones that I really really enjoy and like and also I bought a couple of uh, Prismacolor color erase pencils because they're the ones that I use for drawing and sketching and they're really hard to get in the UK, they're really expensive and I decided to buy a couple to, um, I don't know, to draw. <laughs> and last but not least, I know what I was thinking, but Ed thought it was a good idea to do a challenge with this mini painting set. What do you think about this, guys? Ed was like, you should totally do a challenge and paint with this to prove people that they don't need very expensive art supplies. And I'm like, okay, let's let's see what, what happens. I'm really scared, by the way, to use this. I don't know if I'm going to use them in this video, but let me know if you're interested in watching that. <laughs>
Hi guys, I want to show you something. <laughs> I think the thing that I'm feeling right now with this drawing, with this illustration, is that it's too soft. It's too like perfect. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know what I'm saying. It's like I don't see myself in this kind of painting. So what I'm trying to do, and the reason why I started using color pencils, is because of this. I have been using a lot lately uh, the Colliers, uh, Prismacolor Colliers. And I want to see if I can paint like this, but with the color pencils I just bought. And that is the experiment that I'm going to do today. Okay guys, so I think I am done with the illustration. I don't know if you can see the texture and the thing that I tried to do. So if I can compare this one, I don't know if you can see, but it's the texture is softer. And even though I like it a lot, I think I prefer this one better. I don't know why. I think it has more personality and I just enjoyed uh, these textures a lot and I try to replicate the same thing but capturing um, the blending with the colors because I think they look way more interesting than just one plain color and yeah I'm really excited now guys I don't know if you saw but on YouTube now you can uh, do polls and comment I was just reading all of your comments thank you so much to all of you who voted and who suggested me to rest Thank you, baby! Um, and uh, most of you guys voted uh, for me to draw, I mean, to try the art supplies and to draw an old drawing because I took my old sketchbooks with me and I think, oh my God, I'm going to draw this baby. I don't know if you can see it. God, it's so... <laughs> I think I, I did this um, sketch in 2005 so it's been a long time since I did this baby and I have no idea how I'm going to draw the fairies I think is the thing that makes me nervous the most because I never draw fairies like this was a phase which I haven't looked back <laughs> so we're going to draw this baby again and paint it with color pencils and I'm really nervous guys I'm really really nervous finally reached the point in the on the illustration in which I can I can't keep painting more <laughs> I did all the colors as you can see they are very plain because I painted with one color at a time but now the thing that I want to do and the thing that I want to experiment with you guys is this I want to see how the illustration looks if I start mixing colors together because I love the texture but I think we can add up more character and personality to the illustration if we start layering colors which is the same thing I did here I don't know if you can see but I started mixing pink into the blue and I want to see if I can do that and then started adding the details so let's 
see what what's happened like what's going to happen i have no idea what the result is going to look like Good afternoon and what can I say? Today is Saturday <laughs> and I finally finished the illustration. What can I say you guys? I am really happy with the result. I was really <laughs> scared <laughs> throughout this entire experience because it's been a long time since I illustrated for you guys. And it makes me really nervous to sketch and paint and draw and do stuff on camera because, I don't know, it's a lot of pressure, guys. I want to impress you and do a good job in front of you guys so you can be proud and it's really um, overwhelming and it makes me feel really anxious to film everything. Anyway, I hope you also enjoy the result. I think that I have the sketch right here, by the way. Um, I really want to keep trying using color pencils because um, recently, after saving a lot, I invested on an iPad Pro. iPad Pro. I don't know why I say that. <laughs> like that. I invested on an iPad Pro and I've been using the color pencils, like the digital version of the color pencils on the iPad. And I don't know why I am obsessed right now with that texture and what texture gives, uh, what color, the, 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 the texture, the color pencils they give to an illustration. I've, I've been really obsessed with that. So now I'm like, why don't, shouldn't I try the original, <laughs> the traditional version of this? So uh, I haven't stopped using the iPad Pro, but I wanted to try the real IRL <laughs> version of the, <laughs> the color pencil. So that's why I bought a couple my favorite colors and I have been trying and painting a lot with those lately and I wanted to show this experiment with you guys because every time I discover something new, something that I know you will enjoy in some way, I just I just want to share it desperately with you guys. Um, I enjoyed all the details, for example outlining the illustration with red uh, for skin but all of the rest I, I did the outlines with blue because I think it will give more dimension to the character and uh, dimension uh, to the colors. I loved switching between outlines, uh, colors, red and blue. I think they complement a lot to each other. And overall, I think the part that <laughs> made me feel more scared was the fairy part because I don't draw fairies anymore. Nothing against them, it's just that <laughs> I don't draw them anymore. So I, I did try to find um, uh, something that will make me feel more comfortable uh, drawing, which is like these silly flower characters. I hope you enjoy that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, this haul. For next week, I will try that not show through paper that I bought on Blix because I know a lot of you guys are into that type of paper and I bought it just for you. I also, I'm going to do a review about the iPad uh, versus the Cintiq or any other drawing tablet. So if you have any questions whatsoever between those two formats, those two softwares, is it a software? It's a gadget, a gadget. <laughs> Please let me know between the iPad and and other uh, drawing tablets because I would love to give me give you my thoughts and yeah thank you so much to all of my patrons because they allow me to go to Blix and buy art supplies and test them with you and take the time to go to a cafe and experiment so thank you so much patrons you are the best and yeah I hope you're having a wonderful day a wonderful weekend ahead and I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. I love you. The day is wonderful outside. Look at this. Very nice. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. I can say goodbye forever. So. <laughs> bye.